Hello my friends and welcome back to the Uncle Cedric show. As always, I am still Uncle Cedric. You know, the ratings for my innovative, intellectual, and in vitro fertilized show has incredibly skyrocketed to unprecedented expectations. I surmise this has a lot to do with my clever, one-directional conversation about the benefits of neutering house pets. Who is ready for procreation? Not this cool cat daddy oh. I have had a great admiration and mutual respect for cats since being raised with them at me grandmother's home in Tottenham. Splendid home, we were only burglarized twice. Whenever I do my stalking at night, I utilize the sacred knowledge of the hunt that my cat brethren had humbly bestowed upon me during my initiation. Guess who ate the dormouse for supper? It was most delicious, I can feel the feline within. Toast. Since my third divorce, I have had a very curious fascination with toasters. I know you insert bread in the slots, push down the lever, and toasted bread pops out. I believe a toaster should function in at least two steps less than that, for months at a time, I would be tinkering in my garage for hours on end, on a sustenance of cognac and dormice, trying to figure out where the light switch was. Thank heavens for the dole. Finally, genius triumphed. Even though all 35 of my toaster designs were rejected for patents, those bastards could never take away my accomplishment of finding the light switch in my garage. Fuck you intellectual property office. I'll just take my ideas to America. Arseholes. No, not the ones that are stretched, but the ones who are irritating. There is a lot of rubbish going around about worse person this and worse person that. I doubt someone took a survey of everyone in the world, even the little tribal population of New Zealand, and reached a consensus about who is the most intolerable asshole. But I honestly believe if such research was conducted, that my neighbor, Winston Murray, would be the world's biggest asshole. Even Hitler has fans. No one likes Winston and I make sure of it. If someone asks me, are you Winston's neighbor? I politely respond, Oh, are you talking about the neighborhood pedophile with a suspicious smell, coming from his garden? Yes, yes I am his neighbor, I know you are watching this Winston Murray. One day I am going to hire several men to beat the shit out of you as I sit on my throne, sipping my cognac, laughing hysterically as my unappreciated toaster makes unappreciated toast for me and my cat friends. On a side note, I suppose a second worst asshole in the world would be Phil Collins. Sus sus studio? Sus sus such an asshole. Well my friends, this concludes this episode of the Uncle Cedric Show. Once again, you have trickled surprise down all crevices of my body with the fact that you listened to my partially produced, partially pickled broadcast. I do hope you come back soon. Wish me luck as I am due in court for yet another litigation against Freddie Mercury. That little hooligan stole my trademark mustache back in 1979, and I was his inspiration for, we are the champions. Don't you dare think this is over yet Freddie. I do not care if you are royalty or have legions of fat bottomed bicycle racists on your side. The pen is mightier than the sword, unless it runs out of ink. In which case, it would still make an adequate stabbing weapon. Bring a pen to a sword fight. Take that Highlander. I wonder if Doctor Who's sonic screwdriver is stronger than the pen. I wonder if I can program this multidimensional sauna to travel to a sex shop in Birmingham. I wonder if mustard gas also comes in a mayonnaise flavor. I wonder if toasters are atheists. <laughs>